We begin tonight with the outpouring of love and support for a little girl who has captivated our community. Today, little Malia Davis was laid to rest. Thank you for joining us. I'm Sion Rhodes. Malia's funeral drawing hundreds of people from all walks of life, all gathered for one purpose, a proper send off for a little girl whose life ended too soon. Channel 2 Sally Mamdu live now with reaction from today's service. Sally. Sian, as you know, we've covered Malia's story for weeks now, and we know that through our coverage and through interacting with the people in the community that this little girl captured the hearts of so many throughout the city, and not just in Houston or the nearby cities, but across the country. And today she was laid to rest, but not before a ceremony at this church here, the Crossing Community Church, that many describe who attended the ceremony as colorful. It's the final farewell. She has united the city. Everybody knows Malia Davis, a household name. Four-year-old Malia Davis late to rest Saturday morning after a private ceremony described by Mayor Sylvester as colorful. It's very uplifting, the praise dancing, very colorful, the, uh, uh, the, the singing very uplifting. This was not a sad funeral. Congresswoman Sheila Jackson Lee also among those who attended. I don't know if I came here for any other reason than that I'm a mother with a broken heart. The Congresswoman presented Malia's family with two American flags that were once flown at the Capitol. What we wanted to do is offer love to the mother and to the father and to the family members. Following the ceremony, her colorful casket topped with rainbow colored roses taken from Crossing Community Church to the burial site. Malia Davis' final destination in a journey that Mayor Sylvester Turner says has changed the city. Her life is gone, but her, as the minister said, her legacy is that we have to watch over and protect and love our kids. I believe you have parents today who are telling their kids uh, they love them. They are embracing their kids. They're holding their kids tighter. They're being more responsible and more protective of their kids because of Malia, because she, uh, she touched them. Now, our cameras were not allowed inside the church, but we are told that about 400 people attended Malia's ceremony. We're live in South Houston.